welcome back to the channel everyone um, right so this video is sort of going to be based on fishing currently at an anna dam but this can be applied anywhere and this is 100% directed to the beginners because how this came about was actually a few guys have been asking me and some dads asking me for their youngsters their sons who just started fishing and they're battling to get onto the fish and it's a shame because the fishing is really good at the moment so um look as we all know when you start fishing getting into bass fishing it can be confusing there's millions of baits out there and you know you just don't know where to start so i'm gonna try and make it quite simple um, i'm gonna focus this on one technique only and that is a texas rig it is one of the most versatile techniques there is out there honestly uh, anyone and everyone can do it and it is gonna catch you fish using that technique pretty much all year long and maybe weightless you can also go into but yeah let, let, let's start with the texas rig um, and then take it from there right so the gear you're gonna need you are gonna need if you are beginning if you are 100 percent pure starter start with a spinning rope it's just gonna make your life a little bit easier yes you might have to deal with a bit of line twists and so forth but start with a spinning rope casting is going to be a bit easier it's less frustrating for you um, if you have been fishing for a while obviously bait caster perfect i still use my spinning rod a lot as you guys have seen in my last couple of videos it has been a key player in most of my days fishing at the moment um, but yeah let, let's get going texas rig right now at this point in time try and focus on smallish profile baits nice fin profiles um, there is an exception here and there but this is what's going to get you fish right now 100 percent okay i'm going to start off with finesse baits um okay disclaimer i am uh, a blue crew member from blue water gear south africa so a lot of my baits you're going to find on their side I am going to link it in the description as well and this is the bait I use and I catch fish on it. There's a couple of baits out there that I would specifically go and buy and I'll show you why. Alright, so first bait up is just a little finesse worm. It's called Slim X, it's made by Excite Bait. reason why I like this guys, they are half floating material. No, it's not a uh, Elisa Tech can't stretch like it but it doesn't have salt in it it's pretty much it's still gonna float still gonna wave around if you dump this thing into a pond with no hook or anything it floats on top of water so it's gonna give you a nice little bit of action okay so that is the one that I will go with uh, most of the time then there is an exception when these guys are really focusing on small little bait fish and it's really tough out you want something even smaller profile than this and that's when i'm gonna pick up this little guy this is literally called finesse worm by young and as you can see the profile it's very small it's a small little four inch it's a tiny little bait they give off the same shape but the the one is just smaller that's all okay that there then another bait that i'm gonna use when in doubt put on a clout six inch clout it's a winner it, it just is it's always going to catch a fish um, another really good bait out there for now is the little young swimming dinger but the small version the four inch version um, we actually saw this on the boat now like two weeks ago a week ago whatever i was throwing this one and uh my but oh my dad, one of them. They were throwing it's the same worm, the swimming dinga, but the full version, the larger one. I think it's a five inch or something. And I've got a lot more bites on this one. So that is a must have. Um, okay, Texas rig. Basically, this is your Texas rig. Oops. I mean, 
most of us gonna know what it is but just for those guys it don't so just have your hook there bad knot but anyways and then I've got a little weight that's running free on it this I don't have pegged I will peg it certain times but 90% of the time I leave it unpegged um, and that there's that little finesse worm on it all right suck this guy out close to the offshore grass um, especially at an end at the moment work it slowly throw it right on the edge let that thing sink down and leave it there but keep an eye on your line you've got to watch for a tick if you see there's a tick in your line or if your line just starts running or if you feel it on the line set the hook don't wait um, if you're going to wait they're going to spit it and you're going to miss that fish or you might not even know you had a fish so if you feel something my biggest advice is take up your slack and set the hook I mean I still make that mistake sometimes I still want to feel it's a fish all there and that is wrong just reel down and set the hook so that is your Texas rig this is the light version I do peg my weights down at times but that's when I am going into slightly heavier cover not super heavy but slightly heavier cover or if there is grass um, like a big grass patch of holes in it and I want to get that bait down through the hole what would happen is if you have it like this it's basically just going to turn and it's going to get stuck it's it's not going to go all the way down to the bottom then you need slightly bigger weight this is just a little one eight ounce weight that I'm using just a small weight just enough to get your lure down to the bottom um, I would use I do use a bait caster rod as well and that is where I'm going to come up with the next uh, lure this little guy here the stroker crawl this is a winner it's been catching fish it has been catching fish literally all year long honestly it, it just works uh, put on a nice free odd hook extra wide gap that's a 3 8 ounce tungsten with a little bobber stopper this is just going to help your lure stay attached to your weight and it's going to take it down directly straight so this is what I'm going to use when there's small little pockets in the grass and I need to get into it um, I'll use this one and I've got it on a bait casting rod slightly stronger you've got a little bit more torque you can force that fish a bit more it's a little bit heavier line but if you're just starting out um, spinning rod is perfect don't even worry about it but yeah that's basically it uh, the fish have just definitely been sitting on the grass um, and it's pretty much the lure's got to be lying dead still let it lie down there for a while then just give your rod a quick bounce just so that lure just hops um, not too well don't bounce it or drag it like that because if I am dragging if you've got the rod here the rod tip is over here let's say whatever uh, 10 o'clock if you're going to use a clock now and you're dragging it all the way to 2 o'clock if you're doing one motion like this that bait has actually now because of your tip movement moved a good meter and a half or so and it's just not natural um, so just small little bounces tiny little bounces move your rod tip that much that's all and then let it lie you will definitely get a fish like that um, right now you should be catching fish uh, you should be getting them because they are biting um, so my biggest thing that I can give to you is work those grass areas um, if they are on a point even better now what I mean by point is um, basically you've got your bay you've got your main lake you've got a bay in here that corner where it's going out from your bay to your main lake that's your point right if there's a grass patch on that point go and work that area slowly you will get a couple of fish there 100% and as I said I'm more directing this towards the guys at Nana Dam and more for the guys who's asked me to talk about it but you can do this at any dam it is going to work wherever you go same thing with these baits these are the baits I am currently using they work and uh, colors wise um, this has been doing well for me um, I think I still need to put that video up there but I'm 
I'll probably be in the next week or so. Uh, sprayed grass, so it's just a watermelon or watermelon candy. That's also what some other guy brands call it. Um, it's watermelon color with like purple fleck on, on the top. Very translucent. Uh, then basic green pumpkin with uh, black fleck. It's very basic and it works. The next one is Nirvana. This is basically a mixer, like a black on the top, bluish, blue fleck, and then green pumpkin at the bottom. It really works well. And then I think the stroker for this is just plain green pumpkin with blue fleck. Um, so you see where I'm going. Very natural colors. You don't need to go wild and loud colors. Not right now. It's not needed. Natural, especially at Ananda, it's for the most part it's pretty clean the water especially for the kickboat guys that whole area we're fishing on kickboats that's very clean on water so you want to go natural so the sprayed grass is really um, a good color to go with uh, yeah I hope that helped you guys a little bit um, I know it was a little bit all over the show but yeah I don't want to make this one too long but just to recap focus on your points uh, where your bay is coming out and going into the main lake focus on those areas um, whether it's a little rock pile or whether there's a grass patch off on it focus on those areas there's going to be some fish there um, slow the slower you go the better do not just chuck out and wind back let that bait get to the bottom if you can let it lie there for like a minute and then give it a slight movement if you're praying to a grass patch let it sink down right against that grass patch if you have felt if you feel like you've moved the bait let's say two meters off the grass patch maybe even three meters that that's pretty much the strike zone is gone now now just reel it back make another cast because most of your bites are going to be either on the fall or as it lies there right next to their cover um, so what you want to do is you want to get as many costs, but be efficient and uh, be thorough. Make sure it's been lying there still for a while and keep an eye on your line. Any kind of movement on that line, just reel up and set the hook. Anyways, I hope this helps, uh, especially with the bait selection, because this is what I am using right now. As always, everyone, please comment, like and subscribe. And... Uh, yeah, I'll see you soon with another video. Take care everyone. Cheers.